Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to Callan, our Let's Play Island. And now for you, it might have just been a few days or maybe just a few hours or something. For me, it's actually been three weeks since I recorded, but we're pretty much starting right where we left off. Um, we just reached three stars last time. I thought that we'd play on the same day and look at our turnips being rotten. This is a good start to the episode. Um, I thought we'll just kind of stay on the same day because today I'd like to talk a little bit about some stuff concerning the let's play with you. And meanwhile, we are going we are going to um, just be talking a little bit about the future of the let's play, kind of my plans for it and all that kind of stuff. All right, but first and foremost, of course, let's uh, celebrate this little catch. I caught an ant. Tell me where the queen is. Okay, so I think our turnip has pretty much served its purpose. Um, oh, I think also my pocket might be a mess. Let me just check that quickly because I, I don't, I don't know. It's been, it's been some time. It has been, I think, over three weeks since I recorded because I got a little too excited with the recording part and i i think like i there were like four or five recording sessions or so and i just ended up with 19 episodes and i just uh kind of wanted to take um, a step back from the recording so that we don't like just have i don't know like a ton of episodes and then every like i can't really react to the comments uh, to be fair i did have quite a hard time remembering what we did in that specific episode so like making thumbnails and coming up with titles and stuff was kind of rough and then i did like pre-plan them all um in like pretty much one or two days i think and then i just kind of left it abandoned and i'd like to be a little bit more um i'd like to be a little bit more involved in the comment section now i've tried answering a bunch of comments but ah finally i've been waiting for this day for so long look at us go yes i caught a wharf roach this water loving roach has no peer got it great um but yeah i um forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, we're right back where we started. I I I told you. We I still don't I still don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Did you just hear a loud bug? I think so. Yeah, but I feel like that's the one that we've got. But yeah, basically um I'd like to be a little Oh yeah, I'd like to be a little bit more involved in the comments. That that is what I was saying. Um more ants. Wow, okay. Um oh yeah, our pockets are a mess. All right, let me see some shells. We've got items but the, we don't need to put the items down because we have reached the three stars so today's plan is more cleaning up than anything else and a few dailies of course a few dailies are always kind of um kind of appreci appreciated i guess from whoever <laughs> from whoever really also quickly let's take a look at the map because i need to just get up to get up to date with like what's happening oh yeah hornsby Oh yeah, lots of you love Molly. I do want to tell you right away, do not get attached because we are going to let Molly go. Um, we're also going to let everyone else go. I think except for Hornsby because I think Hornsby is freaking adorable. Um, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Okay, so it looks like we've got most of the stuff on the beaches, which is smart. That's a good start to the cleanup. Um, I do want to flatten this island entirely. There is one thing I want to do before we like go back to real time, um, but I think we're probably going to get there anyway because of like time skipping a few days and stuff. Um, one thing I want to do, because I did put all the critters that I've got into the ACNH Dog Guide app, and I saw that most of the ones that were missing are either like nighttime bugs. Um, let me see. Ooh, yes. We'll get those miles. Uh, either like nighttime bugs, so you can catch them from like, I don't know, 5 p.m. going forward or something, or they're actually on tree stumps. So we're gonna chop a few trees today, I think, uh, so that we can kind of get those. Okay, and then the wharf roach and the ant, we still have to donate. The turnips can also have flies, like, but pretty rarely. I think it, it's, um, we've got a better chance at finding like some trash or just like dropping some trash and then getting that getting that dropped and then I think they'll spawn a little bit more easily. Okay, since we've got, um, oh wait, okay, let's drop like just this item so that I can get the two fossils and we're just gonna quickly organize a little bit. 
donate some stuff to Blathers and then um, start like cleaning some stuff up because that's kind of what I what I want to do today. Um, and like I said, meanwhile, talk a little bit about the future of the Let's Play and a couple of things that have just come up over the last few episodes because it's like I said, it's been a while since I um, since I uploaded or since I recorded those, not since I uploaded those, since I recorded those. And there is like a lot of things I want to kind of um, address. It sounds a little bit more serious than it probably is, <laughs> but there is just a couple of things that I want to address today and I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of an episode like that. And I feel like next time, um, next episode, I might want to do one where we kind of just experience a few of the newer things that we can now do, such as uh, like the cat and tours and I think that we should now have access to Hearth Island and stuff like that. Okay, let's see if everything can be donated. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Um, thank you, Blathers, for taking those off my hand. I will be back at some other point, I guess. Um, but yeah, so, so we'll experience a few things that we can now do with the three stars. And then the ex episode after, we'll be talking about the theme, which is still going to be, we're still going to be like cleaning up meanwhile I think and like flattening I feel like flattening is going to take some time um and I I do want it to be part of the uh let's play of course but at the same time um you know it's not the most exciting if we just kind of kick dirt and shovel dirt and stuff also oh I can still I can still give this back okay someone lost this can I not investigate it further Oh, sometimes it kind of gives you a hint. All right, let's talk to Coach and see what it is. I've forgotten most of the voices that I did. <laughs> Good morning, Stubble. Get an early start. Did you drop this, Coach? What is it, Stubble? Show me. Okay, there you go. Tell me, please. Who is it? This isn't mine, Stubble. But I did see Molly with something kind of like this. Oh, okay. Did we see Molly already? I feel like maybe she walked around. Uh, do I have that bug is the question. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the tiger beetle, right? Right? Where did it go? Hello? Oh yeah, that's the tiger beetle. We got that. Okay. Um, all right, so that's the plan for the next three episodes. And then I will try and do my best to only record like three-ish episodes at a time because <laughs> otherwise it's just going to get really confusing again. So I want to do my best and record like three at the same time or like three-ish kind of, and then like prepare them. Oh my God, our house is so big now, kind of. Okay, let's put everything in our storage. We can kind of like do a little run later and sell some stuff, I think. Um, I am missing the wooden storage shed a lot. That one just, I miss it, <laughs> but we're going to get there, I think. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. My storage is full. All right. Never mind. Change of plans then. Uh, we are going to be putting up everything in terms of like furniture, I guess. I mean, Flick really needs to show his face, doesn't he? But it's Sunday today in the game. Which means, um, cause like, look at this, it's Sunday today in the game, which means that, uh, Daisy May is here. My gosh. I feel like a little, I'm a little bit all over the place. Wait, those are furniture pieces as well. Um, I did mean to kind of make some notes so that I don't forget a specific thing that I wanted to talk about, but I feel like we're already kind of, we're already kind of past that. Um, anyway. Uh, I want to do my best to record like maybe three-ish episodes at, at a time and then it'll still be relatively easy for me to like um, put those like upload those and give them like um, good titles and be like a little bit more involved in the comments and I, by that I mean like I want to always have um, a comment to kind of start to that kind of offers like another question or something like that and I just I haven't really been able to do that because it's just, I uploaded them and pre-planned them in, in YouTube and then it was like out of sight, out of mind almost, right? Um, which is not great. So I'll see. It's nothing really for you to worry about. I think that um, you're not going to really notice a difference, probably, but it's kind of so, just something that I, that I'll kind of pay attention to. Um, but one thing you might notice is the uploads might not be as frequent as they were. Um, it's a bit of a bigger topic, so I'm going to try my best and not be like a confusing mess about this and explain it like well, 
Uh, can I get to my pockets? Oh yeah, like this. Oh my god, so many cardboard boxes. So the Let's Play has been lots and lots of fun so far. Um, and I have to say that I was like really, really happy to read the um, the comments for the most part. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> for the most part, I was really, really happy to read the comments um, because I don't think I've ever had that many like very, very kind comments on um, YouTube videos before. Most of the time, like my my content before um, are still kind of on the side-ish was more about like inspirational stuff. Oh, there's Molly. Okay, Molly, I've got something for you. Um, okay, I'll try not to forget what I was talking about. Well, hello, Quackity. Uh, did you lose this? Oh, can you show me? Uh, sure. Here you go. Is this your diary? Is there some cool secrets in there? Oh, you found my lost journal. And? I didn't think I'd see this again. I feel like I owe you big time. And? Uh, shaved ice maker. Okay, why is that always one of the first items that you get in this game? It's... That was kind of interesting. Okay, we're going to collect some oranges because my pockets are kind of filled with stuff that I want to sell. So we're just going to get the oranges and the, I think, coconuts and then sell those. Um, and then we are going to check if we can. I don't think we can pay uh, the, the next the next mortgage thing just yet, but we're going to we're going to see. Uh, yeah, so most of my content has been more about like inspiring stuff about Animal Crossing, some guys here and there, all that kind of stuff, which most of the time I think that people just find them upon search results, watch it, maybe leave a comment and then they're pretty much gone again, which absolutely is valid and uh, understandable. Okay, and my nooks is on the left. Um, but it's just, you know, when I started the YouTube channel, I always had more of this like community thought in mind like i always wanted to create this community of people who love the game and who kind of can talk about it and stuff like that which it's just kind of hard on youtube because it's 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 such a widespread thing and pretty much anyone who wants to can can watch it and stuff um all right so first things first we're gonna sell um yeah no turnips i don't have any turnips don't worry about that um, and so this is like, you know, that's what happened on Twitch. I think that Twitch is much more about that. Like, um, I didn't get the coconuts. Great. Okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Twitch is much more about this, like community thought. No, <gasps> 52,000. Well, please. Okay. I do want to purchase, I think this, I don't know if I've ever used the tapestry, but it's actually kind of cute. So I want to just have it in my catalog. Um, Yeah, what was I saying? Oh my god. <laughs> so Twitch is much more about that community thought, but I feel like the Let's Play has been getting, like, absolutely getting there as well. It's just, it's really awesome to, oh, 1,800. Yeah, we can do that. It's really awesome to read all those nice comments to just hear kind of that you're watching this Let's Play as you're going about your day and telling me about your islands and stuff like that. It's really, really awesome. And it's been making me like whenever I get comments like that, it's been making me quite happy. <gasps> Should we also check if we want to change our outfit? Oh my God, more shells. Okay, let's do that though. Let's check for outfits. Um, however, and here's the big... Um, con i guess to this let's play because i feel like I've, probably some of you have noticed this before okay i want to talk to sable of course hey i'm kind of sewn into my machine right now sorry i can't chat but uh thanks for stopping by okay still not talking to us <laughs> um yeah, so some of you might may have noticed the first episode did pretty well and then um you know views really went down and that was to be expected, um, but of course I have to be, I think I have to be a little bit careful so that I don't completely ruin my channel with the Let's Play videos because I just think that a lot of people are not interested in it. And if there's uploads like every day and maybe sometimes even more than one per day, um, that might get really annoying. Uh, so I don't, I don't know. Um, I think I have to be a little bit better at finding a balance. Oh, God, I was hoping for my glasses. Okay, that's fine. Um, at finding a balance between Let's Play videos and regular uploads. Um, I think there will probably be no more days where we upload two episodes in the same day. Uh, I think I'd rather do longer episodes, which I'll kind of circle back to in a second, 
just because I, I think that the amount of content can get a little bit overwhelming and I, you know, it's really easy to make people kind of turn away from your YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm kind of scared of that. I will be like completely honest about that because it is something I worry about. Um, nevertheless, we will, I, I realize that, you know, future of the Let's Play sounds a bit dramatic. Uh, we will continue this Let's Play. I am, I'm excited. Um, I will be honest with you. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing much in my free time lately because all of my switches are either um, like on stream or on video islands or the one that isn't is currently broken so I can't play on it. Um, so this is kind of my my chance, like this island is kind of my chance to really fully enjoy the game. So I really want to do this. I'm excited for the theme. Um, now speaking of the theme, we'll talk about it very soon. I can tell you that two people have pretty much guessed it. Two people have pretty much guessed it correctly. Um, lots of other people have said things that I that are probably not gonna happen. And I feel a little bit bad because some of you voice them as like expectations or hopes. And I feel like I'm kind of disappointing it. I know, I know, I know you'll say like you can't disappoint and stuff, um, but I will be also quite honest. I don't think this island theme is super creative. Like it's not like a Four Seasons, like witchy lore type island. Um, so I, yeah, we'll see. I am excited for it though. I do want to create that island. And so I'm excited to continue this let's play. I'm just being open and honest about like everything that it means for the channel and all that kind of stuff. Okay, we can maybe go to, oh yeah, collect the toilet. Oh, the toilet of doom, I guess. Um, We're probably gonna go to the resident services and put our money away so that because I don't... Did we have some money left in the bank? Maybe we can pay your house. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe we can. Um, so yeah, need better balance. Uh, like fewer episodes. Oh yeah, and then the length of the episode. So the first time I asked, most of you were saying that 30 minutes sounds good. And a few of you even said that 30 minutes is, you know, kind of long already. Um, and now that, that Let's Play has been going on for a little bit. And I asked about like the double upload thing on the community tab um uh abd um <laughs> some of you have actually <gasps> we can pay okay uh let's pay from pockets like a hundred and well let's do like full amount and then just get the rest of the bells in our pockets and then from savings great Okay, we don't have a lot of money left. That's fine though. That's fine. <laughs> I finished paying off my home loan. Okay, awesome. And uh, let me get to the ABD and get the rest of the like 20,000 bells or something uh, into our pockets so that we are once again broke. Great. Love that. Love that for us. <laughs> um, so yeah, and some of you have been, or actually quite a few of you have been saying that you would be totally fine uh, if the episodes were longer than 30 minutes. So we're going to see. I think now that we've reached th uh, three stars and uh, this let's play can pretty much go any way that we want, um, that might actually happen. You know, if we build like a specific area or something and we just kind of want to keep going in until it's done, uh, it will it might go over the 30 minutes. So we're, we're just going to see. They're going to be a slightly different length, I guess. Okay, but do come see me if I've piqued your interest. You have, Nook. I, I can resist. I can't resist it, you know, about my home. Please tell me how I can expand it. Well, for your home, I think adding a new room would be nice. If we add it on the back, it won't change the look of the home, but you get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. This will require taking out a loan for 348,000 bells. Wow. Okay. I mean, let's do it. Let's do it. Great. Cool. Thank you for taking care of that for me, I guess. And then we're going to continue the cleanup. So um, I will try my best to be to do a little bit of a better um, balance with like let's play videos and regular videos. Although I will say that regular videos just take a whole lot more time to edit. So I don't really know. And then there might be some uh, life changes happening soon ish, uh, which I yeah. Well, we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. I guess that's the saying. Um, so we'll worry about that another time. But yeah, it might change a little bit. I'll kind of I'll kind of see how it goes, I guess. 
Uh, and then, yeah, episodes might be a little longer. That's the second thing I wanted to say. Um, and then, you know, the two sides of the let's play, I guess. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Speaking of comments earlier, <laughs> I do want to briefly, I don't really know how much sense it'll make to even, you know, talk about this because I don't know what it'll really change. But I do just want to say, can we all please chill a bit on the backseat gaming in the comments? Like, most of them are really, really, really sweet and positive and nice and everything. But sometimes the backseat gaming does make me go a little... Yeah. Um, I have been playing this game for like 4,000 hours. So most of the stuff I pretty much know. Uh, and I might just not be doing it in that exact moment because, you know, there's other stuff that I'm worrying about. And um, just like, don't don't expect me to play this game like a certain way. Also, the episodes are pre-recorded, so sometimes I can't really react to things immediately. Um, so just like enjoy, enjoy the enjoy the ride, and just enjoy and see the way that others are playing the game maybe. Um, but if you do give tips and recommendations, which I realize that they might be good for other people in the comments, so like, um, you know, it's it's also fine. But one thing I would like to ask you is don't take like a such a condescending tone maybe. Try and be a little bit nicer sometimes. Um, yeah, I guess that's all. And then also I do, I do want to apologize <laughs> for missing the money spot in the last episode. I feel like ten, like 10 people have probably told me so now. So um, yeah, sometimes, you know, things are easy to miss if you're the one playing the game. I'm also, you know, there's two monitors in front of me, one which holds the game, the other one uh, has the recording, which I'm kind of constantly keeping an eye on so that things kind of run smoothly and it's still picking up sound from the mic and all that kind of stuff. There's two giant lights shining in my face, plus a camera pointing at me. And I'm also trying to um, just narrate everything that I do, uh, which can sometimes be quite hard. So it's easy to miss things. Um, so yeah, just as a little, just wanted to, just wanted to mention that, but you know, it's, it's, I get it also, you know, I've been there, I've watched less plays and I've been frustrated that people didn't see what I saw, but just to kind of let you know, it is that I did not want to do that. It is easy to miss things if you're the one playing it. I don't know if you've ever, ever had this con this uh, situation maybe, but um, whenever you drive a car and there's someone next to you and they like see things that you kind of don't, that's exactly the same uh, type of, type of thing happening. But yeah, um, and then, oh yeah, and then the other thing that I wanted to, which this is probably the future of the Let's Play pretty much. Um, this is something I wanted to talk about because it, my opinion on it has changed a few times and I just want to keep you up to date. Um, again, this is one of the things that I kind of really hated about having so many episodes ready to upload because my opinion changed as I got like more comments and stuff and I couldn't really tell you about it because all the other episodes were pre-recorded and even if I like answer to specific comments individually, that like doesn't take care of the like just talking about it, right? So this is concerning the direction of the of the let's play in terms of like decorating and gameplay and all that kind of stuff. So um, I when I play, I do time travel and I use treasure islands. I've been very open about that from the start. And that, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do with this let's play is kind of show the way that I'm playing the game, because I feel like, uh, or I kind of know that that can be interesting to people. Um, I have gotten, and I, yeah, I was gonna go to a treasure island pretty much as soon as I reached three stars, which would be now, and just kind of get some stuff for our theme ready. Ew, that looks so weird. Go away. <laughs> Um, and I've gotten a lot of comments um, saying that you quite enjoy that I do some actual gameplay before I dive right into the decorating at the treasure island uh, running and all that kind of stuff. Um, wasn't there something else somewhere that I could collect? Maybe not. Maybe this is all. And then we're going to get uh, like an axe and chop some trees, I guess. Um, so I've been thinking a little bit and I, th again, I think this is um, about balance, balance. I think we, oh, I think up here maybe, huh? 
I think we had like a table or something up here. I think we need to keep a good balance between a few different things. So um, I have been enjoying the gameplay mechanics. I've been enjoying uh, catching bugs and 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 fish and stuff. And like I said, you know, most of the most of the bugs that we're still missing are pretty much nighttime bugs. So I think uh, sometime soon ish. Uh, so that we get the July bugs. Uh, we're gonna do like an evening kind of bug catching episode and session. Um, and I do want to continue those things and I want to experience like the captain boat tour with you before we like go and get everything. So I've been thinking that I might want to do like a mixture because I think if we do too much gameplay that's gonna get very boring very fast because especially now that the game has been out for two uh, over two years, most of the people know how the game mechanics work and they're just gonna, it's just not gonna really be interesting because there's only so much of my own spin that I can, I can add to it, I guess. Um, and then I feel like it's just gonna be a little bit boring if all we do is, is, uh, is like catch bugs and that kind of stuff which again will kind of negatively impact the channel and stuff like that and um <gasps> hi scent lamb okay okay we'll take that um so i was thinking we're gonna try and do like a good mixture of the two now what that means is i think in terms of materials i will use treasure islands because I, technically i know uh, how you chop, you know, wood and how you get stone and iron and stuff like that. And if I were able to play this game just as I'm chilling on the sofa, watching my favorite TV show, I'd totally be open to grinding. But um, every time I do that, like chopping wood is not really something that you can chat too much about. Like, oh, let's hit this tree. One, two, three. <laughs> like there's only so much conversation I can, I can, I can make while doing that. And if every second episode is us chopping all of our trees, I feel like that would get really boring really fast. So um, I think that we're going to go to Treasure Island to get a whole bunch of materials and just like pretend as though we got those ourselves so that we're not stuck in that like rut of having to kind of um, farm all that kind of stuff. Um, and then... I'm still going to try and craft everything myself and that before I kind of get into that I probably should should state the second thing because obviously next to materials there's also uh, there's also items and I was thinking that for items maybe we're going to try and do our best to use the in-game mechanics to discover certain things but once that we have discovered things oh great music <laughs> great music uh, once we have discovered certain things that it's totally okay for us to go to um, Oh, this was already on top of a oh, no, this wasn't okay um, Then it's totally okay for us to go to Treasure Islands and get a whole bunch of them What I mean is, you know, we go and check nooks every day and we go and check um, The DLC island because I think that'll really help us a lot um, I do have the DLC, so that should also be something that gets introduced to us like tomorrow. And um, we check there every day, we check the stores, and then let's say one day we encounter a wheat field. And then once we have encountered the wheat field, then it is totally okay for us to get a whole bunch of wheat fields from Treasure Islands. And even like versions that are... Um, that are a different customizations because technically at that point we could go ahead and get it customized you know it is now uh, nowadays that is like an option in the game so um that would kind of be the plan right so that we still kind of have a realistic approach to finding things and how quickly you can kind of achieve certain stuff um ooh, table with cloth okay i feel like maybe we should get that one down um, table with cloth. There we go. And then we can put some more stuff on top of that. The magazines. This is just maximizing the space we got because our pocket, our storage is going to be full very soon. Okay, lock stakes. And then lock stool can also be something else. Automatic washer. And I think in terms of spaces like that, it's full. All right. Um, let's see. Great music. Great music. 
Okay, if I have more miscellaneous items, I could put them on top of stuff, but I don't think I see anything else yet. Like, right now. Okay, the rest is going to go into storage then. Um, so yeah, it's still hopefully going to be somewhat realistic in terms of um, how fast we find stuff and what things we discover. Um, but once that we kind of have discovered, it's okay for us to get more than that from a treasure island so that we can also just kind of get into the building part. Um, we will fly to Treasure Islands together, I think. Um, also, full disclosure, I just recently had to switch Treasure Islands. I'm currently trying to find one that I like. I think there is a wood dropped here. There is. Um, so I don't really, I don't really know if. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'll try and find my best to. I'll try my best to find one that I like, and then we're gonna go to Treasure Islands together as well, and kind of uh, get some stuff together. <gasps> Oh, that's right. I just wanted to get an axe from Nook's Cranny, but um, we can't because we need to craft it ourselves with a wooden iron nugget. Okay, but then can we at least get like flimsy axes from Nook? Because like I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, lazy in terms of the, in terms of the crafting. Also, like right now, we're already over thirty minutes, I think, by now. Um, but it's it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, continue a little bit longer and then probably get some breakfast and then we're gonna uh, dive into some three-star mechanics and then after after that episode I think we're gonna talk about the theme and then once we have I was thinking also that we should maybe um, do one episode where we go to Canva which is like an online like a, it's like a website that allows you to do like very easy graphic design stuff and like uh, just put together a mood board pretty much that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna plan the island together i haven't really looked into too much of what i want on this island so that would be something we can do together so that i can kind of take you along on that process as well like i said of course i have a theme and i have the type of like colors and vibe and maybe a few items that i want to use but i haven't really looked into what villagers i want like at least not all of them and uh, so I think that could be an episode just to be on on Canva. And then of course, we're gonna do some code shopping. About the code shopping, I can also let you know, I think, oh my God, well, that's great. Just my house, you know? Um, about the code shopping, I think also, um, we will do, um, we will maybe do a slight bit of editing on the code shopping, just because when code shopping, it's a lot of times, just a lot of loading times, a lot of me looking up certain codes and typing them in. And then let's say I, I were to download a um, nine tail pathing. Did I grab the, wait, did I, did I purchase the wrong ax? No, right? Oh no, I didn't. Okay. I'm going to get actually get this one because I want to chop trees down now. Um, yeah, so I might do a little bit of editing just to, to kind of take out the times where we download codes or where we kind of type in certain codes and stuff like that. But just, you know, most of it is still going to feel pretty unedited, I think. Um, that would be kind of my plan for the code shopping. And then I, I, I will be honest, I haven't looked for codes that much yet. Because I, like I said, I really haven't been playing Animal Crossing too much in my free time, which in turn has made me not... Um, like I don't know think about it too much which is super weird for me because usually I that's one of the first like that's one of the things I think about most okay should I shake these trees first before and then oh we need a thumbnail oh let's chop like a few trees and then pose in front of it with our axe I think that's great <laughs> that's great um so yeah, I haven't really looked for for too many codes because I don't know. I've been I've been uh, playing some Stardew Valley. I did finish Ori. Oh, I think I didn't talk about that. Um, I finished Ori and I finished the. Oh, which part was I talking about? Which Ori was I talking about? Because I finished both by now. Um, I've I've one hundred percented. Like I've completed the first one and then the second one I'm like stuck at ninety something percent because you there's these like speed trial runs or spirit trial runs or something that um require you to be like super fast and um run a certain distance in the kind of um platform game in a specific time and they're so hard to do so i'm kind of struggling with that and i've left it a bit <laughs> i've abandoned it a bit 
but um, I've been playing a lot of Ori. I've been playing a lot of Stardew. I've been having lots of fun with uh, Stardew again on my Switch, uh, which is really nice because it's a very nice game to just play on the side and, you know, kind of decompress and I don't know, all that kind of stuff. And um, also, I did purchase a game called Hoa. I will be honest though, I'm not really too excited about that one. It's also like a platformer game, but you can you can die. <gasps> See, we already, okay, can you, Daisy me, that is heckin' creepy. We already have a bug here that we, oh my god, I can't, I can't see it. That we need still, because there are like three or four on tree stems and you can catch them all during uh, summer too, so that's awesome. I caught a citrus longhorn beetle. Orange, you happy, orange, you happy for me. Oh no. Not my net, not my net. Um. Yeah, so I'm not really sure about Hoa because you can die and it's it just, that makes it kind of feel like very repetitive and not really much of a challenge almost. I don't know. Mm. And then I love the type of games because that's what Ori was, right? Where there's like a map and as you play the game, more and more of this map gets revealed to you. Oh, these were my fruit trees. Okay, but I still have like fruit so I can, I can plant them again. Um, I think I'm like like a little fruit um, orchard moment, like a you know normcore f <laughs> normcore orchard just to um, make some bells. Oh yeah, because that's the other thing from Treasure Islands. I think I want to try and not get like bells right away, and at least purchase a few more or like pay off a few more of the dead things before we really do that. Just so it's a little bit of a challenge, and we're really like required to go diving still and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so the map gets were I'm sorry, I get it. I keep getting sidetracked and just kind of briefly talk about other stuff in between. Um, but yeah, you, you kind of reveal more and more of the map as you go along further. And so it's like a big, big sense of accomplishment when you have revealed that entirely. And for Hoa, it seems that every level has just its own little map. And so there is not really that achievement of uncovering more. And at the same time, um, the tasks in every area are kind of the same. So, oh, that's great. Should I just have this like a little bit of a psycho, you know? Kind of like that maybe. Oh, not with the eyes closed. Oh my God, stop. Keep your eyes open, ma'am. Thank you. Or of course we could also do the little um, flexing. I don't have that yet. I've got nothing. I've got no reactions. Okay, um, I guess I need to purchase those. So yeah, have any of you played Hoa? Have any of you played Ori? Have any of you played Stardew Valley? I don't have a net and that is a new bug. Oh, dang it. What do you need for a net? Probably not what I've got, right? Iron nugget. Okay, I need tree branches. I can do that. Okay, bug, you stay there. You stay right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna collect five tree branches and be right back. Don't you move at all. How many do I have? Uh, three, okay, four, five, great. I've got that one, all right. Um, so yeah, Hoa, Ori, Stardew Valley, and then um, I also just got Bear and Breakfast, and I played it on stream. Um, I don't know if by the time that I upload this, the VOD will have gone up on YouTube as well, but if it has, I'll link it down below, because that was a lot of fun, um, and I, I would definitely recommend the game. So for any of you who haven't seen Bear and Breakfast, or also if you've seen it and you saw the trailer and you, like me, thought like, mm, I don't know about that game, it's so good. It's so much fun because you're you're literally a bear um, running a bear and breakfast. And it's it's like a really good balance because you you can just collect things and like, like um, loot things. It moved. The bug moved. Dang it. Now I'm ready for ya. Okay. Great. Thank you, bug. Thank you. 
Oh, this is a new one though. The blue one is a new one too. Butterfly, don't ruin this. Yay! Okay, good. And then we still need the rainbow one. Um, I caught a rose rose dahlia, but hazy beetle. Rosalia? I don't know. That's easier to do than say. Oh, I heckin' agree. Also, I'd like to apologize again for the anemone thing that I messed up. Also, it was quite funny to me because some of you told me that it's just like in Finding Nemo, right? That it's pronounced like in Finding Nemo. Y'all, I've never seen Finding Nemo in English, I think. I grew up with that in German, of course, so um, it's Anemone. And that's what I tried to like translate into English. And I will say there is a couple of words in English that I just kind of refuse to believe that's how you say them. Um, anemone is one of them. Anemone? That sounds so weird. You have to admit that sounds so weird. The second word is um, is uh, dandelion. The first time I, I heard or I read that word um, and keep it like, I will be honest in German, it also actually is a word with lion in it. But um, the first time I read it, I was like, oh, dandelion, that's so cute. Like a really cute like flower stuff. No, it's dandelion. And that sounds so weird. I don't know. And then anemone is just, <laughs> I don't know y'all. And then there's two, there's two names um, that I'm really confused at why it's pronounced like that in English. One of them being um, Pikachu, because I'm pretty sure in the original it's Pikachu and also in the German um, version of it, like we say Pikachu. And so Pikachu it just seems really weird and wrong to me. Um, and the second one being uh, Cleopatra, because for us, like in German, it's Cleopatra, which I, th I think sounds a lot more like elegant. And then Cleopatra, that sounds really like Cleopatra. Makes me think of the name Petra, and then that makes me think of Jane the Virgin. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what they were trying to go for. Um, but yeah, so those are like a few of the words that I'm like really confused about, and I kind of I kind of refuse to think that's how they're they're said, you know. Okay, rainbow bug is not is not showing up for us anymore. Great, great. We're gonna have a lot of wood though after this, and a lot of fruit. Um, which I also think um, we're gonna when we go to Treasure Islands, we're also gonna get all the fruit because you can't get them except for when you trade with other people. So we're just gonna get them from, I think, a treasure island uh, at some point. And then we're gonna have to make sure that we plant all of those. I haven't decided on the, I have not decided on uh, the gold tools, by the way. I don't know if I wanna get all those from a treasure island so it's a little bit easier or if, uh, there we go, fruit roots, um, oranges and coconuts. Oh, so we also still have to plant our uh, native fruit. Okay, and then apples. What is their native fruit again? Oh, booty fruities. Uh, so apples and cherries and pears we have to get from Treasure Islands. Okay, we can do that. And then maybe just to get the miles right now. Um, yeah, so I haven't decided about, about the gold tools um, if I want to just get those from Treasure Islands because some of them are just like almost impossible to get yourself, I feel like. And then one thing I think I will get right, ahead, right away, even though in reality that would take us like quite a while to um to get to is the wooden storage shed because it just makes everything so much easier and again it cuts down like loading times and stuff so that's gonna help i think the let's play in general um so i think that might be that might be the the plan all right and i feel like i've been i've been chatting your ear off for way too long um i hope i said everything i you know talking about like the um, the upload schedule for this and then talking about the length of the videos, um, the comments, the Treasure Island situation. So yeah, oh also um, adding to that because I don't think I said that. I also expect to get wasps any second now. Adding to that because I don't think I said it. Um, if we get to the point where we like build specific areas and there is like a specific item that we don't have, um, we are also gonna go ahead and get that. Like if there was really like something specific that we're looking for, 
uh, we're we're just maybe gonna go ahead and get it because I could also go ahead and like trade on Nukazon and stuff. As long as you have the Nintendo online, you can trade for certain things, and so even even that could be possible if you're um, if you don't use Treasure Islands, you could still get like specific items for builds if you like trade for them and stuff. Um, which I I just I'm not really a big fan of, but you know, just as a full disclosure, also just briefly want to mention how interesting the green hydrangeas look on the very dark green shrubs i don't know oh yeah should we before we end should we go again and check for colorful bugs uh, molly is very interested in the weed i think stop thinking those types of things <laughs> Okay, no rainbow bug. It does not want to be uh, caught, apparently, but we'll get it. We'll get it, uh, you know, pretty soon. I think we're going to leave the, the tree um, stumps up a little bit, especially on this on this uh, lower ground floor thingy uh, that we don't have to, like, tear down just for, like, bugs and stuff. And then I think I'll, I'll enter the, the stuff that we've just donated quickly into the... Um, into the app so that we have a bit of a better overview and then I will just stand right by these trees that aren't chopped yet <laughs> and say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, please. And um, also leave me a comment, of course. I'm, I'd be super happy to, to hear that as well. And then I will see you um, in the next episode, which will be up, I think, on like... Saturday. So this one is Friday and then the next one is going to be tomorrow. And then I think the next after that is going to be Monday. Anyway, I hope you have a good time until that happens. Bye everyone.